Since 1971, we've engaged in this war, and we've learned a lot of painful lessons. They don't do us much good if we don't do something a little different to attack this problem. We talk about this heroin problem like it just appeared yesterday, like it just walked into our state, and Kentucky is the only state in the country that's dealing with it. The, the facts don't begin to support that. The fact remains that we are addicted to opiates, we're addicted to meth, we're addicted to synthetic drugs, we're addicted to illegal substances. And until we treat it like a public health crisis, we'll be digging out of this till we're all dead and gone. And the taxpayers won't be able to fund anything else. There will be no roads, there will be no bridges, there will be nothing for the common good. Conservatives, moderates, and liberals have come together nationally. Some of the leading conservatives in the country, and so we cannot build our way to public safety. They supported House Bill 463. Newt Gingrich, Grover Norquist, Ed Meese, William Bennett, liberals on the other side, moderates in the middle. They continue to support common sense policy like our juvenile justice reform. We have a chance to come together like Congress can't seem to come together. We accomplish things in a nonpartisan way. Bipartisanship implies compromise. This isn't about compromise. This is about putting aside partisan differences and doing what we know works. We're sent here to do what we know works. We don't need another study. How can we study something that doesn't exist in our state? We have all the study we need from 200 other programs. And that, again, I have the utmost respect for my colleague that once said, she's caught in the crossfire, let's just admit it. We owe it to our constituents. Let our communities decide. If you don't want it, you don't have to have it. But if your community wants to debate it and save a life, then do it. We shouldn't stand in the way of that. Should we? Ask yourself. We're elected as public servants and we come here at great expense to our families, with little pay. I got 1,500 emails the other day. I mean, do we have enough to do? We dedicate our lives to this. We owe it to ourselves and our constituents and their families to do what we know is right and what will work. And if they vote us out of office because of politics and because of rhetoric, then we can run for Congress.